The announcement of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's divorce came as a surprise to many, though rumors of marital strife had been circulating for some time. The couple, who married in May 2018, had become one of the most talked about pairs in recent royal history. Their decision to step back from royal duties in early 2020, dubbed Mexit, already hinted at deep seated issues within their relationship and with the royal institution. However, few anticipated that their story would end in divorce. The official announcement was made by a joint statement released by the couple, stating that they had amicably decided to end their marriage. The statement emphasized their commitment to co parenting their children, Archie and Lilibet, and maintaining a cordial relationship moving forward. Despite the carefully worded message, the media and public were quick to speculate on the real reasons behind the split. The British press, known for its relentless coverage of the royal family, was ablaze with theories and commentary. Meanwhile, across the Atlantic, American media outlets were equally engrossed, analyzing every word of the statement and what it might mean for Meghan's future in the United States. The divorce of a senior royal is a rare event, and it has inevitably drawn parallels with other high-profile splits within the royal family, most notably that of Prince Charles and Princess Diana. Perhaps the most surprising aspect of the divorce news is the report that Prince Harry celebrated after the proceedings were finalized. According to sources close to the Duke of Sussex, Harry was seen in high spirits, hosting a small gathering with close friends shortly after the paperwork was signed. This behavior has raised eyebrows, given the gravity of the situation, but insiders suggest that it reflects a sense of relief rather than jubilation. One source, who chose to remain anonymous, revealed that Harry had been struggling with a decision to divorce for some time. The source described him as feeling trapped in the marriage, particularly as he became increasingly distanced from his family and royal duties. The celebration, therefore, was less about joy and more about reclaiming a sense of freedom and autonomy. He felt like he was living a life that wasn't truly his, the source explained. The pressures of the royal family, combined with the constant media scrutiny and the demands of his marriage, had taken a toll on him. The divorce, while painful, was also a way for him to start anew and live life on his terms. The celebration reportedly took place at a private residence in Montecito, California, where Harry and Meghan had been residing since their departure from royal life. The guest list was said to be small, comprising close friends and confidants who have supported Harry throughout the ordeal. Notably absent from the gathering was Meghan Markle, who sources claim had already begun making arrangements to move out of the couple's shared home. As the dust begins to settle on the divorce, attention has turned to the reasons behind Prince Harry's decision to end the marriage. According to a close source, it was Meghan Markle's past that played a significant role in the breakdown of their relationship. The source claims that Harry had become increasingly aware of certain aspects of Meghan's life before their marriage that he found troubling. While the specifics of these concerns have not been publicly disclosed, there has been rampant speculation. Meghan's life before meeting Harry was marked by a successful career as an actress, most notably for her role in the legal drama Suits. However, her rise to fame was not without controversy. Over the years, Meghan has been the subject of numerous tabloid stories, many of which painted her in an unflattering light. Allegations of strained relationships with her family, particularly her father, Thomas Markle, have been widely reported. Meghan's half-sister, Samantha Markle, has also been a vocal critic, often speaking out against her in the press. Additionally, Meghan's previous marriage to film producer Trevor Engelson, which ended in divorce, has been a topic of discussion among royal watchers. The source suggests that as time went on, Harry found it increasingly difficult to reconcile these aspects of Meghan's past with the demands and expectations of royal life. He felt like there were things about Meghan's life that he wasn't fully aware of before they got married, the source said. As these things came to light, it created a sense of distrust and ultimately led to the decision to end the marriage. It's important to note that these claims remain unverified, and Meghan herself has not publicly addressed them. Nonetheless, the idea that Meghan's past contributed to the divorce adds a new layer of complexity to the narrative. Meghan Markle's demand for $100 million in compensation has been one of the most talked about aspects of the divorce. The demand, which was made through her legal team, is said to cover a range of expenses, including the costs of maintaining the couple's Montecito home, security, and future financial security for herself and their children. The figure has raised eyebrows, 
not least because it stands in stark contrast to the couple's earlier assertions that they wish to live a more modest life outside the royal fold. Critics have accused Meghan of hypocrisy, pointing out that the demand for such a large sum seems at odds with the values she and Harry have publicly espoused. However, supporters of Meghan argue that the demand is reasonable, given the high cost of living in California and the need to ensure that she and her children are financially secure. They also point out that Meghan has had to endure intense public scrutiny and personal attacks since marrying into the royal family, and that the compensation is a way to protect her and her children's future. Legal experts have weighed in on the matter, with some suggesting that the $100 million figure is more of a negotiating tactic than an actual expectation. It's not uncommon for high-profile divorces to start with a large demand, one expert explained. The final settlement is often much lower, but the initial figure sets the stage for negotiations. Prince Harry is reported to have flatly refused Meghan's demand for $100 million. According to sources, Harry was adamant that such a sum was unreasonable and would not be part of any settlement. This refusal is said to have caused significant tension between the two, with Meghan reportedly feeling betrayed by Harry's stance. The refusal was followed by a dramatic turn of events, Prince Harry packed his bags and left for England. The decision to return to his homeland has been interpreted by some as a desire to reconnect with his roots and seek solace in the familiar surroundings of the royal family. Others see it as a strategic move to distance himself from the contentious divorce proceedings and the ongoing media frenzy in the United States. Harry's return to England marks the first time he has been back in the country since the couple's move to California. His decision to leave Meghan and their children behind has sparked a new wave of speculation about the future of his relationship with the royal family. Will Harry seek to repair his strained ties with his brother, Prince William, and his father, King Charles? Or is this move merely a temporary escape from the pressures of his life in the United States?